Are you curious about what goes on behind the scenes in the airline industry? Do you ever wonder what goes into the food served on airplanes? If so, this video is for you. In today's video, we will uncover some of the dark truths about airline food and explore what's really going on with the meals served on planes. So buckle up and get ready to discover the secrets of airline cuisine. Hello and welcome to Prime Time TV. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell for more amazing content. Number 5 food is thrown away by airlines when a flight is delayed. Every flight's leftover food is thrown away right away. When you consider that Emirates' catering facility alone prepares 180,000 meals for its more than 400 daily flights around the world, and there are similar operations all over the world, you'll see that the scale of in-flight catering and waste is astounding. But what's worse is that if a flight is delayed for more than 6 to 8 hours, the food on board is also thrown out. Yes, all of it. According to the International Air Transport Association, airlines made 5.2 million tons of waste in 2017 and will make over 10 million tons of waste each year by 2030. Thankfully, airlines are becoming more aware of the problem and are finding more and more ways to keep cabin waste out of landfills. Number 4 Food on Planes Isn't Fresh Don't be fooled by those annoying stickers that say freshly prepared on your airplane sandwich. Food for planes can be made anywhere from 10 to 72 hours ahead of time. In fact, it's perfectly legal in Europe to keep food in the fridge for up to 5 days before serving it. Hot dishes are made in large industrial pans, then decanted into plastic containers with foil lids and blasted cooled to around 5 degrees Celsius in 90 minutes. This is probably the fact about airplane food that is easiest to believe. Number 3 Pilots Eat Different Meals to Passengers Everyone on board is counting on one thing, finding someone back there who can not only fly this plane, but also doesn't have fish for dinner. If there's one thing we learn from the movie Airplane, it's that the flight crew should never eat the same meal as the passengers. Thanks to very strict safety rules, it's very rare for airplane meals to make you sick. But just in case, it's still important to give the pilot and co-pilot different meals, so they don't get sick. Because if the people in charge of the plane get sick at the last minute, no one will have a good time flying. Number 2 Culinary Science goes into every mouthful. From fully designing menus to putting them into place, the process of making onboard meals takes a lot of trial and error and can take more than a year. When United's Polaris menu came out in 2016, it was made with the help of 28 menu workshops in 16 cities on five continents. These workshops led to the creation of 48 new salads, 96 appetizers, and 240 main dishes. When making plain food, science and cooking skills are used together. Virgin, for example, always chooses proteins that can survive if the seatbelt sign goes off and the food gets stuck in the oven. Salmon, kingfish, and barramundi all have a lot of oil, which is good. Meat with a little bit of fat also keeps its shape well. A loin of venison would never be used by an airline because it has no fat and would turn into leather if it was overcooked. Number 1. Even famous chefs have tried to make the food on planes taste better. Many airlines have turned to celebrity chefs to add not only taste, but also a bit of glamour back to flying. In 1997, the Australian airline Counters was the first to partner with a celebrity chef. It did this by hiring Neil Perry whose restaurant Rockpool made fine Australian dining legendary. Air France decided to take advantage of France's rich culinary history by asking Michelin-starred chefs from all over the country to create the menus for its first and business-class passengers. British Airways didn't want to be left out, so they asked the world's best gastronomic guru, Heston Blumenthal, to make the best in-flight meal. The result was Haït Cuisine, a menu designed to make dishes taste better at high altitudes by using recipes that are naturally high in umami. It's amazing to think about all the dark truths about airline food that we've uncovered in this video. From the way it's made to the way it's served, there's no doubt that airline food isn't quite what it seems. However, it's still a great way to enjoy a meal while in the air. So next time you're on a plane, take time to enjoy the food and marvel at the fact that it's served at such high altitudes. What do you think about the food on airplanes? 
Do you like getting food on flights? Share your thoughts in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.